Ghost, this has been a long time coming, but we are back with another video review. What we got on the docket today? Oh, we got to go with a Vans legend. You know what I'm saying? Dust the cobwebs off our YouTube. Let's go with Gilbert Crockett and ride this guy. Absolute classic part. Young Gil. Let's get after it, man. You know exactly where we start. Style, baby. Style? Yo, Gil, one of a kind, yo. Great style since day one. I'm going to hit him with a eight and a half. Oh, you busting out the halves already, eh? <laughs> I just have to take a long look at the scores I've given out. And, you know, Gil is right up there with style. I'm going to slide him in at a nine. I like it. Next up. Nar, you know who had his fingerprints all over this part. Yeah, I mean, this is Young Gil, you know what I'm saying? Jamie Thomas, Camp, Days. So, of course, you know, he's he's maybe skating some shit with a little peer pressure. And he didn't disappoint, man. Them rails was getting chomped. So, I'm going to hit him with uh, a seven and a half. What was your favorite Nar trick from the part? I mean, the kick nose grind second last trick is absolutely insane, but pick one other one. Well, maybe let's just go with the kick back nose grind on that other rail. That's kind of more Nart tech. Yeah, this guy, this part is very Nart tech. It's got yeah. a perfect mix of both. I love the hard flip down the double set, man. I'm going to give him an eight for Nar. Next up, tech. <laughs> we already talking about it, man. Guy's got a line with a switch flip back 5 0, then a fakie flip switch back nose grind revert. He kept it tech, man. Um, I'm going to stay right at the same <laughs> level I did with Nar. It's eight. With eight? Nice. Remember remember that debate we had against, like, you can't call something fakie and switch in the same one? I just knew you were about to drop it there with the uh, fakie flip switch back nose grind. <laughs> That's for the listeners, man. But, uh,. Yeah, man, the, the tech is fucking blessed. Kick back, nose grind, revert in the middle. That's such a dream trick. Looks Always looks good. Uh, I'm going to hit him with an, with an eight. Front crook, nollie flip, man. I think that was the first time a lot of people saw that one. Switch back, nose grind, fakey flip. He was turned up, man, for show. <laughs> Moving right along to transition. I think there's only one transition clip. It's... Correct me if I'm wrong, but it's the back nose grind nollie flip. Little bank curb bank. <laughs> <laughs> What's so funny about that? I think he pops off flat, dog. No, you tried to give him a little bonus. Yes, he does. <laughs> he just it's lands off in flat? a bank. Yeah. <laughs> no way. But hey, you know we're always desperate to find transition in these reviews. Uh, I, I think it's like a kind of a downhill run up. Oh my... God. Sorry, Gil. You're getting a two. One point for each bank. <laughs> yeah, damn. That's the only transition. You gave him a point for the downhill, too? <laughs> All right. Well, I'll give him a one and a half. One point for landing that back nose grind nice in the bank. And then the half point comes from the long front crooks on the out ledge because he grinds over a bank. So we'll give him a half point <laughs> for that. <laughs> I love it, man. Next up, tricks, aka trick selection. <laughs> this guy. What, what are you laughing at me for so much? Too? I'm like, do you have it written down as tricks on your list, and you just forgot what the actual category was called? <laughs> yeah, I have it written down as tricks, but there's not one thing remotely illegal in this. Tell me the closest trick to illegal. The closest trick to illegal in this part is front crook nollie flip. Because it's could have oh. been pinched a little bit more, woo -woo. or tweaked How out a little bit more. You. It's it's kind of close to a front nose grind. How dare Fucking you? Fucking snow plow. Oh, Smith 180 that ledge too. I don't got nothing wrong against Smith 180s, but just kind of a random one. It's far from illegal, but I'm if going you're 11. asking for the closest thing. <laughs> this is the most flawless trick part there yo, is. Yo, the backsmith kickflip over the fucking rail to the mm. other side. They're still looking for those bolts. But yeah, all those things, those negative things I just said, 
aside, it's still getting a... He's getting a nine and a half for trick selection from me just because it's just clean as shit, man. Hell yeah. Deducting a half point for the Smith 180. That's Jesus it. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Next up, Kits. This is some OG Gil. He's got his fat fallings on. He's got his button ups, missing a couple buttons. <laughs> He's got some Andrew Reynolds Atlanta fitteds. He's got it all going on, man. Back in the day, his, these kits were fire. You know, Gil switched it up a little bit these days. His pants and that China line with the switch to the back 5-0. Or sorry, not pants. Like his whole kit is just such... He just looks like such a fucking skater. I love it. I got nothing wrong with any of these kits. Mine is probably just the shoes, but whatever. I'm going to hit him with a 8 for kits. I'm going to back you up. I'm going to hit him with an 8 as well. Next up, filming. I got no goddamn idea who filmed this video, but I don't see one thing wrong with any of it. Bro, the filming in this video is actually so good. Dude, the kick front 50, that rail, I've been to that one too. It's pretty buck, but the filmer comes from behind the trees, like at the perfect time. <laughs> Bro, this, no, this part is bear fire. Filmed great, the kickback, nose run, revert in the middle. Everything, it's just... When you actually kind of look for the filming, you see how flawless this shit is, man. So oh, hats yeah. off to everyone who filmed the clip in this part. Lots of great long lens zooming in this one. The kickflip down that big fucking seven or eight or what nine or whatever it was. Yeah. Just some serious zoom technique in this part, man. I'm going with sure. a nine. I'm going to hit him with a fucking ten, you dig? Woo-wee! Damn, what looking over my list. Still. No one's ever gotten lower than an eight on filming. Oh, wow. Dave Delfino ain't filming none of these videos, eh? <laughs> Next up <laughs> is edit. I love this edit. I love this part. It's crazy to say, but this might be the most memorable Gill part to me. Well, we just watched all the Gill parts, and we chose this one. It might be because we were at the age where we still watched videos like on repeat more so than the internet era. Mm -hmm. And, of course, they had a copy of this video at Ben... And like Jeff and shit at the skate house, Colin's place and Pat's place. Mm -hmm. So this one would just get thrown on randomly at 3 a.m. in a house full of drunk mans, you know? <laughs> That's great. But uh, I'm going to hit him with uh, a nine for edit. I dig it big time. Yeah. Cannot complain about edit. This video, this video part would still slap if it dropped today. If someone dropped this part today, I'd, it'd be incredible. That's how good it is. That's how good everything about it is, man. I'll back you up. What'd you say? T I'm, I'm going with 10. Hell yeah. I went with 9. And second last, we got continuity, man. Explain this one to me again. It's been so long. I don't even know what this one means. Well, whatever I'm going to say now might be different than the first time I said it. But this is just kind of the overall feel of the part. It's the editing, the trick selection, the kits. It's basically all our categories morphed into one does it feel like this was filmed in one little era of him you know where his kits aren't changing too much you know what i'm saying and i'm gonna go with hell yes the continuity is flawless in this part it feels like you filmed this i don't know how long you filmed in the summer like, yeah it seems like you might have done this in a year you know and gil's a guy who's changed his kits quite a bit over the years so the fact that it's all pretty locked in to the same level of pants and shirt, and no tattoos. It must be a pretty concise time period, man. You're right. Yeah, so I'm gonna hit him with uh I'm gonna hit him with a fucking ten for continuity. Hats off to you, Gil. Backing that up. Big time ten. And last but not least, Ender. I kinda wish the kick nose grind was an ender. That's the only thing I got wrong with this one. What like everything in the part is perfect. And then the ender's the one sketchy clip. Bro, I literally could not agree more. It always kind of confused me that that was the ender. So maybe I need to go back and change my score for edit. Oh, I'm going to knock a point off the 10 I gave for edit. True. Give him a 9 for that one mishap because it made no sense. Oh, you're right. I gave a 9, so I'm going to bump that down to an 8.5 because I love an ender that slaps, and I was never a big fan. Chris Cole, he'll flip that quadruple thing. That's the spot we went to, eh? Mm-hmm. That thing's yeah. huge. 
it's huge, but I wish he'd done it again. I'm sure he battled and he probably didn't have energy left or whatever the case may be, but yeah, it's it's crazy. Just like you said, every clip was literally flawless and then that one he kind of sketched out. So he didn't kind of do nothing. He sketched out, put his hands down. Yeah. Should have been the kick nose grind to Ender if he didn't do that again. So just because the Ender is the backside flip, it's huge. I love a good backside flip. I get all the good parts. I'm going to go with seven just because of the landing. Yeah, I think I'm going to back you on that seven for Ender because we got to put respect on the backside flip itself, but it just didn't feel like the right Ender. Couldn't have said it better myself. You know what time it is? Drum roll, please. Let's tally up the scores. I am absolutely locked in here, Ghost, with a score of 81. How'd you do? Oh, 81? Not bad, Gil. I hit him with a 78.5. Oh. Yo, that's crazy because that's one of our lower scores, and I don't think it has anything to do with this part because I absolutely love it. it. Just whatever mood we're in each day is different, man. Well, I mean, he took a big hit with transition. <laughs> <laughs> that he did. And the crazy part is you watch his parts now, and he's all over the street transition. I'm mm -hmm. sure if we did one of his later parts, it was a rounded part. Probably one of the higher transition scores, too. His skating has many dimensions, but in that part, it wasn't on full display. Gil, you know we love you, despite the low scores. An insane description of Gil. His skating has many dimensions. I like that. <laughs> All right, Ghost. Who's going to come up next for the video reviews? Nobody knows, but only time will tell. Love doing these, man. Signing out. Might see you in a week. Might see you in a year. But just know there is one coming. Peace out. <laughs>